As professional real estate agents, the most common question we get asked is, how's the market? Hi, I'm Scott Sacken with Seven Gables Real Estate. Well, I've been at this 33 years now and we've seen everything. It's been a roller coaster ride to some degree, but we see moves and changes about every seven to eight years. Right now, we appear to be about at the top of an appreciation cycle. Now, my partner Lane is the stats guy. I'm kind of more based on my boots on the ground, what's happening every day out in the trenches type of thing. And there are three things I've actually seen really change just in the last few weeks that lets me know I think our market is on the move to a bit of a plateau right now. Number one, all of a sudden, I'm seeing more open house signs. Now, that may mean a very basic sign, but let's look at what that means. An open house means a property is on the market, it's listed, it's available for people to come look at it, which means there are time for people to come look at an open house prior to making offers. One corner that I usually pass by every weekend on the way to visit my mom has been barren for the last three years. Last weekend, it was a circus of signs and flags inviting and trying to entice people to about five different open houses. So again, these are homes that are listed. They're currently on the market. They're not already wrapped up with multiple offers the first few weekends that they're on the market. So again, I'm seeing more listings come on the market, which means more open houses, which means more supply, which based on Economics 101 is likely to decrease the demand just a little bit and give buyers some options. Number two, this is a little bit more analytical. We're actually starting to see the bank appraisals come in under the price that was negotiated on. Now, what's been happening lately, as you all know, is homes have been listed generally at or above what the last sale was, and they're still being bid up by tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Generally speaking, the bank is going to come in if there's financing on the property and they're going to appraise the property and their job is to let the bank know that the property is worth what the buyer has been willing to pay for it and therefore it makes good sense to fund the loan. My last three appraisals have come in closer to what our original asking price was, not what the buyer was willing to pay, even though it was over. Now, we put those transactions together because the buyer felt there was value. But when the banks are putting the lid on a little bit and saying, we're not so sure this market can appreciate at the current levels or sustain itself, we're going to be a little more cautious. So again, the banks are telling us, mm, we're seeing a bit of a change, a bit of a pullback, and I want to pass that information on to you. Number three, general inflation. Interest rates are going up. The price of gas is higher. The price of groceries is higher. A lot of buyers are taking pause right now, and they're actually checking their budgets. We've had many of our buyers saying, you know what? We've got to kind of get our finances in order and kind of figure out what's going on with our monthly nut because purchasing a home is going to be the biggest financial you know, burden that we have on a monthly basis. And with rates hovering now around 5% than when they were around three just a few months ago, that is taking a big hit for most buyers today that are financing their property. So again, when I see buyers saying, we're going to wait instead of we're going to wait in line to make an offer, that tells me that again, we're seeing a bit of a change. Now, all of these things are somewhat anecdotal. They're just experiences that I'm seeing out there in the marketplace. They're not based on historical data or stats, but to me, they're real-time things that are happening and this information will become stats in the future. So again, to recap, we're seeing more inventory on the market, again, evidenced by more open houses. Properties are staying on the market longer, giving buyers a bit more time to pause and decide what they want to offer on those properties without quite so much fear of loss. We are seeing the bank appraisers putting the lid on things a little bit, being more cautious, not just immediately you know, going in lockstep with what the buyer's been willing to pay for the property, but really looking and analyzing a little bit further in the bank's best interest. And then number three, we're seeing buyers themselves just saying everything out there is so expensive, not just housing. We've got to figure out if this all makes sense for us. Now, in final closing here, after we've summarized that, do I think the market's headed for a crash? I personally do not. After 33 years as a full-time real estate professional, I don't see anything underlying right now that's going to create a crash in the market. We still do see high demand, but probably just a decrease. And that would mean slower appreciation rates, not the 15, 20% that we've been seeing of late, but probably closer to 2 to 4%. And that's what some of the economists that we listen to are telling us. So again, it's not a death knell for sellers by any means. I think the door is cracking open to give buyers a little bit more chance and perhaps return to a bit of an even marketplace. That's Scott Sacken's opinion on things. I know my partner Lane is going to weigh in, so make sure to click here to see what Lane's point on the issue is. Thanks so much for watching.